All right, Gay, hi and welcome. See, so I haven't planted anything, so I think that plan's gone gone awry for me today. So that plan has changed. Uh, like I say, you, you're going to keep revamping your blueprints, and I got a dog over there who just stole something from me. Yeah, but she's at least she's well enough to steal from you. So. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, I'm talking about you. you. Enjoy it. You enjoy it. So I turned my compost about down about a third. Uh, one prepping note. Get yourself some really good farming tools. Fiberglass handle last, last a lifetime. Uh, mind you, this thing's probably older than me, but like uh, this thing's pretty pretty, pretty done. Uh, I use it just to turn over the compost. I have a better fork in there, but... Uh, yeah, I can't stress that. I can't stress enough how much that's important. So I'll show you what I've done today. I got the hose out, and uh, actually, it was just kind of like I had these brain farts of what I'm going to do. So I took, uh, although not everything was fully composted in there, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's more for the base. This is what poor people do when they can't afford uh, 55 bags of uh, topsoil. Is what you do is you make up the volume other ways and. Uh, with organic matter so what i've done is uh, i turned those those already had they're probably more sad the topsoil now but i put all kind of like leaves in there i'm gonna put potatoes in there not sure i might put potatoes in there there's a little bit of quite a bit of compost in there and a lot of leaves that didn't break down yet but that's a good base anyway so as that shrinks the rest is going to be filled up you know about maybe four inches of topsoil in each one these guys here are going to be just to get my like all that's going to pack down to probably about that much, right? So it looks like a lot in there right now, but as it packs down, I'll wet it each day and it'll just pack it down and then that'll be the base. Then uh, it's also organic matter and it all came out of the compost. So there's probably other little nutrients in it. There's eggshells in there and stuff like that. Tea bags. Hey guys, where did I see the tea bag? Yeah, hey, there's the tea bag right there. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just getting all this stuff ready for the next the next go which is basically get my manure uh take out whatever i don't need put back in the compost or whatever i don't use turn it wait for it to break down a little more uh this is an alternative to having cardboard on the bottom like on, on in the pails you don't need the cardboard that's just for the ground but uh the leaves do break down it is compost if you have a big raised bed fill it right to the top with leaves put hay on the bottom Put your cardboard down, put hay on the bottom, old hay, which I'll show you what I got and how I'm going to do the bigger ones. Uh, and then you put down, you put in, you know, like fill it full of leaves. The leaves will pack down after a couple of rainfalls, uh, like heap it. Like, I mean, like just completely heat. We're talking if you're doing this in the fall or just starting the raised bed, because it's all going to pack down. Like they're going to sink for a couple of years in a row and you just can't seem to fill them. You know, like it, it always sinks down, right? I, especially as stuff breaks down too. So right now there's just leaves on top there to keep the uh, the weeds from coming up on this one. But this reason bed is full of manures, basically. This one is good for a couple of years. Oh, I got some mushroom, wild mushrooms growing out the side there, some spores. Uh, anyway, yeah, so here's the bucket. Here's my, I'm not sure what's gonna go in there, but basically what's gonna go in here is this is going to go right on the ground like so okay that will be dug out not right there but like in here that will be dug out okay so then i'll put down a little bit of topsoil or manure or whatever then i'll put down my cardboard then i'll put in either hay or leaves or whatever fill it about halfway up doesn't matter or right to the top with leaves and then put more either manure on it which will sink it down to about halfway or whatever and then the last maybe four inches is full of good 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 topsoil and that will be the most potent raised bed garden you can make now that because it's short i don't want to have to bend over to do stuff so corn goes in there so i'm rethinking my three sisters plan and if you don't know what the three sisters are it's basically corn uh some sort of a vining bean and then a squash the squash basically the corn grows up the bean goes up the stalk and the squash keeps all the weeds out of the way i tried it last year with my boss it, it didn't take the corn didn't grow but uh if you're doing it in a garden like that 
you could probably grow like for example out of this i wouldn't do corn because the corn would be 12 feet above me uh but this i could put uh tomatoes hot peppers whatever so again i'm going to cut the bottom out of this i'm going to see if my dad wants it for anything else i don't think he's going to want it for anything else cut the bottom and then that way basically it's just basically you're taking the ground and bringing it up to your waist so you these are like perfect raised beds look like i'm five nine and i'm like even a little old lady would have a field day with this now mind you you could grow something in a, in a pail this big with proper drainage but let's say you're in the city and you want to grow on a balcony. This thing's going to weigh about 500 pounds worth of dirt. So you wouldn't be able to use that. But if you got very limited backyard and you don't want to have to do all the weeding. I mean, once I get uh, things come up, the only thing I have to do from here is basically just put mulch or hay or whatever just to keep the weeds from coming up. And that's it. And everything just grows like crazy. And plus with the, uh, what you could do is <coughs> right when you get to the top with your, like I can say, fill the whole bottom. Put maybe a bit of a couple of things of hay which i have some old hay there because it, it all compost right just be careful with the hay that uh you keep it way way down because what happens is the it, it, you're, you're going to get hay growing up uh you know or wheat or barley or whatever it is your or straw it'll start to come through if you're not careful so you can put your hay down and if it's you got the hole in there what you're going to do is you're going to cut the hole in it and you're going to put your cardboard down to keep any weeds from even starting uh and then you're just going to layer it and just fill it full of hay leaves right up to right up to the top and then as it sinks down to about there throw in manure up to about there and then the last say maybe four inches topsoil and that'll be and just do that every year as you need it every year okay if it sinks down maybe you can pull out some old stuff put it somewhere else or get rid of it whatever say so you dig it down a foot throw in six inches of manure <laughs> topsoil uh just turn it like a composter uh once this thing is full one of the things i will be doing is this will also be a raised bed garden but it will also be a composter and if not this one i will find other ones but these if i had if i had uh, 52 of these I don't know if I could sit 50. They wouldn't, there'd be a bit of an eyesore, but boy, you couldn't ask for a better raised bed garden. So like no construction time whatsoever, you know, like get it, chop holes on each end and, uh, <laughs> you know, fill it, fill it, grow it, water it, laugh at it, whatever. That, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So if it can make life easier, and I mean, these things hold up for years. That's the other nice thing. Uh, where'd that wind? Friggin' northeast wind. Uh, chilly chili uh, not liking chili uh so one of the things i wanted to do today i don't think i have time it always always works out that way that i, I don't have time um but i got i got, got a little bit today so i didn't get didn't get all my stuff in that's okay that's what tomorrow's are for and again really my goal is to put something in by friday so maybe thursday or well, we're Tuesday already, my God. <laughs> you know, where do we go? So it's already over. It just started, it's already over. Uh, but maybe by Thursday or Friday or Saturday, my goal would be to at least have something planted by Friday, like the onions, uh, these little red onions. Mmm, red onions. Uh, if I could get those uh, planted in some of the beds over there, or in the, in the pails there, they'll do fine in that. They're not gonna grow astronomically big unless I put few in there, uh, but just to get them started. And then, uh, you know, same with the garlic and stuff like that. Uh, basically, if I could have uh, a big blue pail like that, which I don't have, but as I find this stuff, uh, that will be the goal. And again, to do it on a, a zero budget is, is the, uh, Again, the poor man method is basically use nature's uh, stuff. So if you can't afford to buy a couple of bales of hay, go get some, uh, just fill it up with leaves. Fill the raised bed with leaves, just right to the top. Heap it, heap it because it's gonna sink down. And then you could throw in uh, hay, and if you get, get, again, about 40 bucks is what, I was thinking of getting three truckloads, but I'm like, where am I gonna put three truckloads of manure? So uh, I might only do, one for now it's not like uh, his cows are going to stop pooping anytime soon but i'll get one i could put the manure low and just use the compost at near the top and uh, this year we'll see how successful i am but year after year it's going to get more and more successful so the blueprint is very easy uh, basically put down a base so that 
you don't get weeds. Uh, and then fill it in with organic material and then put in your manure, put in your topsoil, uh, put in your plant everything and then cover it with either mulch or hay or whatever you're going to use. Anyway, there we go. So that's what I got going for now.